Hello there. Uh, and this is my conspiracy theory podcast. I have my laptop here and I have myself and we are going to delve into the world of podcasts. The first conspiracy is this is not my real hair. This is actually plastic fake hair I got from Dublin, so you can kind of not really see how short my hair is. This is kind of nice. You can actually see it back there, but I'm not going to look at that. So basically we're talking about COVID-19 conspiracy theories. When outbreaks occur, people find scapegoats to blame. So that's kind of why conspiracy theories are really popular right now. For example, like the Jewish people during the bubonic plague in the 1500s were blamed. Uh, during the Spanish influenza, people believed it was like deliberately spread by German people. 29% of Americans believe COVID was deliberately made in a lab. And we're gonna talk about like theory later on that kind of covers this a theory to do with China and the Bethesda lab in America okay you're red wine sit down get a bit of food <laughs> make sure your whole family's outside the door and uh, let's have a little listen let's sit down together and look through some conspiracy theories okay so number one is COVID was caused by all the 5g antenna so people think that the antennas are emitting like a wave that has caused the sickness and the illness that is going around at the moment. Um, this is actually impossible at the moment. Maybe in the future it will be possible. Um, cause it's biologically impossible for viruses to spread using the electromagnetic spectrum. So this means you can't get sick in the way people are getting sick through the waves that the signal that the 5g towers are emitting um the reason this kind of came about was 5g was really becoming a thing and like the towers are being set up and put up when covid kind of hit the western world so in america even over here i think there's two 5g towers around here the next um theory which is probably the most plausible, is that COVID escaped from a Chinese lab in Wuhan. So I've heard a little bit about this one. I've heard many stories. I've heard about two uh, workers from this lab infiltrating uh, another biomedical, is that the word? Biomedical lab in um, Bethesda in America. And they stole this strain of COVID. Um, we're bringing it over to Wuhan and it unfortunately was released. I've heard a story like that. I've also heard that um, it was made in China and was accidentally released. The virologist Shi Zheng Li, I pronounce that terribly, uh, was responsible for kind of analysing bat poop um, and kind of came to the conclusion that no, this is not originated from bat poop. Uh, much to the dismissal from conspiracy theorists because everyone loves to believe that COVID came from bad poo but it is not proven and is very not likely to be true. Um, the theory is that the Chinese created the virus and many people do actually believe this and it was released maybe accidentally before it's time before it was ready to be released and uh, I don't believe that, like I do believe there is some funny stuff going on in China, but I think there's funny stuff going on in America and Russia as well. Um, but I don't think it was a bioweapon because it did actually kill so many kind of high up people. Like not like every person who died in China didn't deserve to die, but like it did kill some high up people in their ranks. So I don't think it was released by them. I do think it could have been an accident in China, but I also think it could be like a natural disease uh, that has just evolved over time. Like we've, there's been cases of a similar strain, I think in 2006, but this one has just evolved to be more difficult to combat. Next theory is to do with Bill 
Cates. So America stopped funding the WHO. They stopped their funding because of uh, differences in opinion. Um, so Bill Gates is now one of the biggest fundraisers and kind of money pigs for the WHO. <laughs> when you were on a football team as a kid, uh, the kids on the team whose parents put a lot of money into the football team will have a bit of say. They'll be like, oh, I'll let my Jimmy play, even if he's crap, like absolutely crap. So Jimmy gets to play. So these parents get to dictate who is the player, even if it's not the right player to be playing. People are afraid that Bill Gates has this power. Please do not see me, Bill Gates. This is all like a bit of fun and games, conspiracy. I'm not calling you out. I'm not blah, blah, blah. I don't know stuff. I'm just having uh, a compiling information I found out on the internet about uh, conspiracy theories. And the Ebola outbreak happened in 2015. Uh, Bill Gates did a TED talk and during this TED talk he said some questionable things, uh, mentioning like sterilization of people in Africa, also mandatory vaccinations because there's no choice. He also kind of claimed to know a little bit about Covid before it's time and maybe there was like a hint of maybe it was caused purposely. Uh, for maybe like overpopulations or just as a controlling factor. So the issue with this is while vaccines, I personally believe vaccines are good, uh, nothing should be forced on anyone. Nothing, nothing. Not even, even if it's a life-saving vaccine, no one should be able to tell anyone else what to put in their body. I don't think Bill Gates should have uh, a lot of say. Like a computer guy should not really be stepping in a different lane of something he doesn't really understand. Um, well, maybe maybe he does. Maybe he has some doctor's degree that I don't know about. But he shouldn't be having a say. One person should not dictate what the WHO is promoting. Okay, so the reason people think Bill Gates um, wants this kind of worldwide vaccination is to implant microchips into people. And like we all heard about the microchips in the like lower class Londoner kids arms like 20. Um, so people think that Bill Gates wants to implant these microchips so people can be tracked and like listened to and controlled easier and they'll have like their IDs built into them so uh, people with power and money um, sometimes have a bit too much power and money to have a bit of sense. Uh, and you know what? I'm not rich, so I'm just gonna <laughs> say he's evil because I'm not rich. <laughs> so, um, a lot of conspiracy theorists, such as what's his name, David Icke, and Infowars, have come out and said that COVID is a plan by like the elite, the like 0.1% of the world, to control us, to take away our freedom and our liberties and that it's actually no worse than a flu. I've heard many people talk about this one because a lot of deaths are being marked down as COVID when they're not necessarily COVID, which is like actually a fact, it's actually like a proven thing. So people with like heart disease or cancer uh, are gonna be marked down as COVID deaths. So I'd say if we look back at this year's deaths in five years, it's gonna be great for other sicknesses like cancer and heart disease because the deaths in those will go down. They're being marked as a different type of death. They're being marked as COVID. So these diseases will be going down in level. So it's gonna look great. We're gonna be like, oh, we're curing cancer when realistically um, it's just more people dying from COVID. But a lot of people think that COVID isn't actually real and it's, kind of ploy used to take more of our like civil rights away from us and to kind of use fear to control us this kind of links in with like the deep state or the illuminati or the like new world order that they're all controlling everything like from like 9-11 to brexit to any big world event is kind of caused and controlled by them so this is kind of the theory that they control everything like Donald Trump is a pawn what's his name Boris Johnson is also a pawn we're not even going to mention the Irish one Leo Leo I'm sorry you mean nothing to the Illuminati 
Um, but I know I like this one. I like this conspiracy theory because it kind of has this us against them factor. Like the normal, the normal little guy against the corrupt society, like Hunger Games, like the one percent controlling everyone, kind of thing. It's like very interesting. I like this one. Good job, Illuminati. Like, let me join. Um, oh my God, that's kind of all of my theories at the moment. So comment down below which one you think is the most accurate the most accurate conspiracy theory um either way stay inside wear your face masks but wash your hands uh social distance and kind of take everything with a pinch of salt but be smart about it um uh, next conspiracy theory video i will be wearing my tinfoil hat you're welcome to join me i will also be something i'm a bit more passionate about i think it'll be zombies we're gonna talk about zombies uh since we're in a virus and a pandemic the likelihood of zombies happening what a survival plan the better survival plan that will be the next episode so like and subscribe smash that like button oh dear um and my videos will get better with the more people i have following me because that's how it works also wine gang floor gang 